Summer drawing to a close here in the southeast. The roof is closed at the wondrous Mercedes-Benz Stadium due to the hot temp still outside here in downtown Atlanta. A moment ago, here was the scene. The Falcons coming out from their tunnel to the roar of all the folks here in Atlanta. We're ready for football as these Falcons get set to match up with their opponents. Atlanta now coming out on the field. tackle 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down that was a fun one to watch right there a nice in breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field and he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup on first down ryan is incomplete he was looking for Tom Gurley. that'll bring up second down Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 16 yards, a first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. I don't know about you, but I wanted to reach out of the booth and snatch that pass myself. That thing floated forever up there. I think that threw off the timing of the receiver. That's why he couldn't get his feet down, even though he caught the ball. You know, Charles, I would have liked to have seen that. Yeah, me too. For, for you, I, I wanted to see you reach out and catch that. Yeah, you've heard about my hands, huh? <laughs> the defense stiffens to force fourth down following that first down gain of eight. And we'll see Young Way Koo now for the Falcons. From the right hash, this from 48. And this one is right down Broadway. And the Falcons are out to a 3-0 advantage. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
He fakes the give here and looks to throw. An interception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. First down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And complete to Zach Ertz. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 41-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. They'll run. It's Sanders. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Foyasane Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. A great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second down, here's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard, and he's taken down inside the 30. 11 yards there, first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. On first and 10, it's Sanders. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. The tackle made at the 24-yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. That's the end of the Three nothing one. after one on EA Sports. Eagles nothing. They'll break the huddle, send three receivers left, one to the right on second and five. Throwing his hurts, sliding out of the pocket. And now he's going to use his legs. And he'll get this down to the 10. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. And the rookie's going to learn his... And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A 10-yard touchdown run, and the Eagles have taken the lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Here's Powell on the return. 
And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker try to the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And the result here, a pickup of eight. And leaves them with two to go on second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. They go play action now. Ryan looking deep for Julio. This is caught inside the 15. And he is taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. A big play there, Ryan the Jones, 52 yards. Now Ryan. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. On third and goal, Ryan. since he entered the league in 2010. And partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? Two-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. second drive and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone and just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive when you scored points it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there but first down hurts he's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson and he lost the football and the Falcons grab it and the return stops at the 39 yard line Following the fumble recovery, it's Ryan. 
And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. You know what the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first is good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. On third and one, Ryan. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First and ten, it's Ryan. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. That's complete, right around the eight. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. The Falcons are going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. To throw again is Ryan. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver. But it'll be second and goal. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. The line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal. Ryan will throw again. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Nikkel Roby Coleman, a sack off the corner. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Stands tall in coverage. They went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. A 29 yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And they jump back in front here. It's 9 to 7. Well, the drive ends in just three, but they'll take it. Looks like they'll head to the locker room, barring something unfortunate, in front on the scoreboard. Yeah, they may not be jumping up and down and celebrating because they have the lead, but still, any little momentum in a game like this is important to a team, and they'll feel real good about going in and regrouping, knowing that they are out in front. the kicks away this will be fielded inside the five and up to about the 26 yard line just across the 25 here's the philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession and last time they coughed it up 
led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field yeah. goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive? A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown, but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield and punch in the end zone without turning it over. So we have reached halftime here in a tight two-point contest as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, all right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And he'll get this just up past the 20, but a marker is down. Let's get the call. That holding call set him up with a not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Play action. Here's Hurts. And it's caught by Jackson. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. They go play action with Hurts. Jackson's got it over the middle. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Right back to him for 10 more and a first. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they get to that end zone real fast. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Sanders over the first down carry that might have gotten a yard if that second down. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second down now, it's Sanders. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. He was brought down by sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. <laughs> Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He can run for it, and he will. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Hurt sets up to throw it. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And he gets it down to the 32. Complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Seven yards. And it's third down. From the gun, it's Hurts. Looking left side, he's got it complete. 
And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 11 more yards there. This methodical drive continues. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. Rolling to his right. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Hurts. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets some nine yards and a first. With Charles in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time, but it'll be second and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. They give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. You have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This for a fourth quarter lead. The kick by Elliott is good. And they take the lead here by a point, 10 to 9. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 22. Out of the gun, he'll throw. He'll drop this underneath to Gurley. Seven yards on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Seven brings up second and three at the 29-yard line. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And Jones has it over the middle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 14. 
14 on that one and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Julio Jones once again the intended target, but it'll be second down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Ryan. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. Able to corral him right at the midfield stripe following that sparkling display of footwork we saw. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. From midfield now, here's Ryan. Dumps it off to Gurley. And he's going to have a Falcons first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. is they take a little time to develop and it can often hit big but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked yeah what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen typically a blitz and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen now that allows your blitzers to get there now the falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Back to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Gurley now out of the gun. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Another carry now for Gurley. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? 
Post-game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. the 25 and down at the 28. Hurts and the Eagles now. Down by two. A minute eight to go. Now their lead has evaporated, but they still have a shot on first down. They'll look to throw. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. This is where you learn a lot about rookie quarterbacks. How can they run that two-minute drill? We're about to find out. Yeah, and for them, it's not just proving it to guys like you and me watching the game and trying to beat a defense. It's proving it to their teammates that they can have the confidence in them when they line up in these situations. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. This is where hustle and urgency come into play. I think you've got to get up there and spike it. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Incomplete. A.J. Terrell on the cover. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. He'll look to throw. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Miles Sanders. A gain of six yards. And it's third. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you were wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Falcons here as we say so long from Atlanta.